Hey Scorps and Cross Watchers, welcome to the weekly love reading for Scorpio, so Moon Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, March 25th to the 31st. Scorpios, we gotta talk. <laughs> We gotta have a talk because there's a lot going on with you. I picked up a lot in your meditative session and the cards here are like, they won't shut up. They won't stop talking to me. Scorpios, Scorpios. Be, first of all, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for. Okay, because I'm getting like return, return. That's what I was picking up on during your meditative session. It's like the things that you missed out on the people that you missed out on opportunities you thought were gone that you wished 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 for they're coming back and they might be all coming back at once okay so please be careful with manifest not be careful with manifest manifesting but be careful with what you wish for i also got like alert Scorpios, it's like whatever is coming your way, like I said, it just feels like a return, like return to sender. It's like the opportunity you craved and wanted and you missed out on it. Like you're like, you know what? I put so much into this. I give up. I'm on to the next. It's coming back with full force. But it doesn't feel like just one. It doesn't feel like just one, Scorpios. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Because you're being left in a state of like, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? I'm feeling overwhelmed by your energy. I think you guys are going to be very overwhelmed. I feel like this is coming in. I don't feel like you're experiencing it yet. And we are doing it from the 25th to the 31st. But, you know, everyone works their energy differently. But Scorpios, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's overwhelming and I think you're very overwhelmed by this I'm also getting like chase like the chase is on the chase is on um oh <laughs> they wow they just showed me like dog races all these dogs running 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 and you're the rabbit <laughs> They're also giving me Sag and Gemini. That's interesting. Like they're, I'm actually hearing Sag, Sagittarius and Gemini. There's got to be a connection there. Um, why am they? Those are the one sevens of each other. Why are they giving me Sag and Gemini? You could be a Sag Scorpio cusper. Oh, oh! If you're like a Sag rising, Gemini rising, or if you have really strong Sag Gemini in your chart, or overwhelmed by it, it's like it's karma. It's like your karma is coming back. In a good way, though. Well, in a good way. Your karma's coming back. It's up to you how you want to handle it. It's your karma. It's your karma. It, wow. All kinds of shit, Scorpio's coming in. Um, so let's get into the pre-shuffle cards here. So we have Nine of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse, and the Six of Wands in reverse, and then the Two of Wands in reverse came out. So again, it's like everything that you thought you had, like, was done, you gave up, you put all this energy into it, and nothing came out of it. It's something that, these are things you wanted and wished for, and it's more than one. I'm telling you, it's multiple. It's multiple, and that you're being left in a state of indecision because I'm feeling it coming your way. My Scorps feel overwhelmed or you will feel overwhelmed. Okay, so this is intense shit. This is intense. What's on the bottom of the deck? Seven of Cups in reverse. Gee, you think you're overwhelmed? <laughs> Maybe even a little confused. I don't know what to do. Oh, Scorpios. This is going to be an interesting reading. I can't wait to get into it with you guys. Um... So for my newbies, it goes without saying that this is a general love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Not all messages will resonate with everybody, and that's okay. I can't, I can't read for all Scorp placements for everyone, right? Just as what it is. Um, but just know that messages can be vice versa. They can be reversed. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> they can pertain to you, your partner, someone in your immediate environment, or someone that you interact with very regularly or exchange energy with very regularly. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. I do pick get multiple messages uh, for people. Uh, so just know that. So even if the reading resonates with you, not all details will because I get stuff for different groups of people, okay? Within the within the collective, okay? Um, so yeah, I think that's all you really need to know about how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. So let's get into a Scorps. I'm so eager. Oh my God. Especially like seeing those dog races. It's like, and Scorps, you guys don't, you guys don't overwhelm easy when it comes to the dating game. You don't, you don't. I mean, it's like you guys, you guys can handle the dating game in your sleep for the most part, right? Um, sorry, my eyes like itchy like crazy. But there's something about this situation because I feel, and I think it's because 
it's things you've wanted that you thought were like long gone and you're getting it all at once that it's it's I think that's why it's overwhelming okay I feel like you're gonna have a lot of options a lot of options Scorpio or if not a lot of options it's gonna be a big question mark of like what do I do with this person or persons right there's something very overwhelming about it that puts you on scorpionic alert okay also be careful of that yeah be careful of that it's gonna it's gonna bring your stinger out a little bit okay and maybe even unnecessarily just because you're overwhelmed so just know that any messages from us scorpios regarding love march 25th to the 31st any messages from us scorpios regarding love march 25th to the 31st okay any Let's see what we got here oh very interesting so we have the ten of cups in reverse and the ace of swords so there is a lot of clarity coming in that's a sort of truth right some truth about some unhappiness at home there's something about your home environment that's not making you very happy right now a little disappointed but i think it's because some truth has been laid down on the table that's interesting laid down on the table it might even be in regards to just family not necessarily just your home um the sword of truth is causing a disruption for you but it's a good disruption because it's it's clarity clarity is always good no matter how bad the news is or how upsetting it may be to have some kind of clarity in a situation it's it's what you need scorpios but it is causing a disruption it's causing a disruption it's almost like the break in reality yeah it's almost like the break in reality okay wow hermit in reverse virgo energy with the nine of cups in reverse disappointment waiting too long whoa sorry i'm getting stuff waiting too long waiting too long Whatever this hermit energy is, it's a person. It's definitely a person. I, I don't feel like it's you. I don't feel like it's you. I almost feel like someone's emerging from the abyss, <laughs> which is very scorpionic. So if it's you, it's you. If it's vice versa, just take that as it resonates. But I feel like someone's emerging from the abyss disappointed. But I'm getting the sense of like it, it took too long, like too long of a time elapse. It took too long. It took too long. It, it's definitely connected to this truth that's coming in that's causing a disruption. Wow, this is going to get interesting, Scorpios. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? March 25th to the 31st. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? March 25th to the 31st. Any messages for Scorpios regarding love? March 25th to the 31st. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? March 25th to the 31st. Oh, 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 oh my God, Scorpio. <laughs> this is the last card out. You're Scorpios, whether you like it or not, no matter how overwhelmed you are, no matter how much you're getting chased down by people or, or opportunities or what have you, you're ended up in a commitment. <laughs> you're going to end up in a commitment. And I got to be honest, guys, it feels like it's happening fast, like fast, 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 fast. I feel like by this time next month, you're going to be in a, in a relationship, whoever is going to resonate with this. This is commitments, marriage. It's also social events. It's also so social events. You could be getting more social. And actually, I do sense that for you, Scorpios. I do sense that. I do sense that a lot. I actually feel like you are going to be spending a lot more time out and about and out with friends, out on dates. But more so, this is the commitment card, right? And I feel it. Scorpio's commitment's coming fast. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready because the process to get there is the chase down and it puts you on alert, like major alert. It's almost like all like the bells and whistles start going off and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, wait, I had no options. Now I got all these options. What's going on? It's like, it, it, it almost like stuns you because it's such a quick processing into commitment. Overall energy, I can pick it up. The Empress. This is you, Scorp. This is just you. It's you. It's you. You could also be a Libra Scorp Cusper. There's also Taurian energy, by the way, your natural partner. You are attracting your natural partner right now, like a true, true partner. This feels such intense energy. Sorry. I know I'm a little like, ah, 
<laughs> I know my energy is like vibrating a lot here, guys. It's just this energy is really overwhelming and it's getting me a little, a, a little worked up. Okay. I'm trying to calm it down. I'm trying to calm it down. Divine feminine energy. This is bringing things into fruition, manifesting. You manifested this, Scorpio. I just don't think you understood to the magnitude of what you are manifesting for yourself, okay? I do also feel a little push. Oh, well, they just told me Jupiter. Check your Jupiter placement. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Vedic, Vedic. So in Vedic, guys, Jupiter's going um, retro into Sag and then back into Scorpio. When Jupiter leaves a sign, it leaves a little gift. Mm -hmm. A relationship. <laughs> and they also gave me Sag and Gemini too, um, which, you know, Sag is ruled by Jupiter. Okay, so there's there's a connection there with Sag, Gemini in this Scorpio reading. But anyway, Scorps, you're sitting pretty as the Empress. You're doing your thing. You're making things come to fruition. And you're, you manifested this commitment into your life. So congratulations. Let's see where this goes. Because I do feel there is someone disappointed here who might have waited too long for you. And you get flooded with options is what it feels like. So let's see where this goes. I'm very curious. Um, let's start here. Let's start here. This truth is a major disruption for you. Um, really? Are we... So you guys know me, I'm not a cheesy person. I try not to be, but sometimes they give me cheesy stuff. I just heard heaven sent, heaven sent. Um, and there's something about it that feels a little like sweet and cheesy to me. Like, I don't know, a little Disney-esque. I don't know what that's about. Maybe I got some Disney fans watching me. Um, there's something heaven sent about this truth. And so it could be your intuition. It could be a dream. It could be your guides. It could be synchronicities. It could be a, a straight out vision. Um, but there's something heaven sent about this truth, which tells me it's very important truth, even though it's very disruptive to your life. So let's talk about the Ace of Swords and get into that. I'm also getting winter. Something about winter. And we just got pushed into spring, right? From the spring equinox. Technically, I think today's the last day of the spring equinox. But let's clarify this Ace of Swords. I think whatever this was, it, it's been cooking during winter. I think that's what it is. It's been percolating <laughs> during winter and now it's time to consume. Okay. <laughs> oh, Scorpio. I'm sorry. I've, I'm just getting dragged. You, you have so many people around you or all eyes on you that it's like I'm getting dragged into their energies. Um, <laughs> someone does want to consume you, Scorpio. And I know my Scorps would love that. I know you guys would. Someone wants to devour you. Shit. Oh. Are we going there already? It's already getting sexual, Scorpios. Of course it would. You have options. <laughs> Tell me about the Ace of Swords. For Scorpio, regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. For Scorpio, regarding love. <laughs> I'm sorry, the I'm already feeling kundalini energy. And I'm trying to ignore it. <laughs> we got the ace of swords for Scorpio regarding love. Sorry, why is my... Uh, it just means spirits all around me, that's all. Like if you feel, I think I mentioned this in a video before. If you feel like cobwebs or like feathers, spirits on your butt. Tell me about ace of swords. <laughs> <laughs> oh what did i say scorps oh the passion oh the passion yeah let's see what else we got oh my yeah you get overwhelmed look at that look at that shit full in reverse aries energy it's also uranus which rules aquarius and then we have nine of swords gemini gemini energy yeah there's uh, trying to push out that sexual energy this sexual energy is intense, and that actually might overwhelm you a little, Scorpio. I mean, we all know Scorps can handle some intense sexual energy, but this is overwhelming because I think you're feeling it with more than one person. You're having some major intense connections coming in, Scorpio. Get ready. Just get ready. Strap yourself in. <laughs> Tell me about Ace of Swords and try to enjoy the ride, but also be smart. Be smart, guys. Um, because like I said, some of you have so many options. It's like you you honestly can't even like think about them really because you have so many. <laughs> oh, someone's delivering the truth here. So it's heaven sent truth. 
but someone's delivering it. Someone 3D, a 3D person is delivering this truth, okay? We'll look into this page. I'm really curious. So the Ace of Swords for Scorpio regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. But I mean, just have fun. Just be careful. Be safe. Be safe and make smart decisions. Don't fuck up your karma. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Scorpio. Because you're in a divine feminine energy right now. You're very fertile. And we have Ace of Wands here. Pregnancy is very likely. Now we have a Queen of Pentacles here. Capricorn energy could also be Earth and Water. Definitely you're, you're being seen as um, a perfect spouse, a perfect life partner. But I also feel for some of you that this is an external person. It might be a, mo a mother. It might be a mother actually giving you this information. If you have a mother who has abilities, they might be giving you some very pertinent information. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Tell me about Ace of Swords for Scorpio regarding love. March 25th to the 31st. Okay. Overall energy. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look at this. Three of Swords. And then we have underneath the King of Pentacles. Look, we got a true pair here. Taurus energy, which is your natural seventh. Um, also Earth and Air. So Scorpios, you're getting some truth, like I said, that causes disruption. And I'm I'm actually now I'm getting another another group another group here of my Scorp. So sorry, let me just focus on the energy a little and arrange it for myself. It's a lot of crazy energy, especially with all y'all who got all these options. Okay, Scorps, you receive some information, very pertinent information, heaven sent. Some of you receive it from a mother, a mother figure. Others of you just receive it intuitively. And it's about this king. It's about this king. It's about this king. And it causes some hurt. It causes some hurt. So like I said, for some, this is an external energy. So for one group of you Scorpios, you're getting some truth about a, tr a true soulmate here. A true soulmate, but there's something painful about it. There's something painful about it. But at the same time, there's something exciting about it. But it causes disruption in your home. And I think it just it's because it overwhelms you. Because it overwhelms you and gives you anxiety. Okay? That's for one of you. One, one group of you. Another group, um, you're receiving information from a King of Pentacles person who you, have, you definitely have feelings for here. Um that there might be another person, a third party, someone that they might already have, okay? And I'm sorry if that's the case, but y'all got options. Not too worried for you. <laughs> you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Um, especially it's like you end up in a commitment and you're standing strong in an empress energy. Um, you're standing strong in an empress energy. So if you have your eyes on someone who's a king of pentacles, they might already have a queen, but you're the freaking empress. Sorry, that trumps the queen. It just does. Um, but Queen of Pentacles is badass too. So that's for a second group. Um, yeah, that's for a second group. But there's a lot of passion with this king. Regardless of who he is to you, there's a lot of passion with this king. A lot. I feel. I felt it. <laughs> I felt it, Scorpio. So let's get into the clarifiers. So we have Ace of Wands, the Fool in Reverse, and the Ace of Ace. Sorry. <laughs> you have two Ace of Swords here, so I <laughs> tripped up. Nine of Swords. And just be careful because we do have the Ace of Swords. That's a Ten of Swords, right? Pains, pains, pains. And you already got hurt here. You already have hurt here. But there's a lot of passionate, fiery energy here. But with the Fool in Reverse, it's like it's impulsive. There, it's like, Scorpio, you're going to be overwhelmed because it's something that you're going to want to jump at. Okay? So... And honestly, I think this person gets you very excited anyway. <laughs> you might want to jump their bones. And I they definitely want to jump your bones. That's for damn sure. They definitely want to jump your bones. <laughs> but again, you get overwhelmed by this information, whatever this information is. I feel like this information is going to be different for everybody. Because for some, it's like you're getting information that they already have someone. Others, you're getting information about them that's hurtful. No, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Oh, okay. So I misread that. Uncomfortable. They just told me uncomfortable. They might just come at you so passionately that it makes you that uncomfortable. But Scorps, you're usually okay with that. So I think that, yeah, there's some connection here with this king that's so intense that it's like, 
when it happens, like when they go for it, when they pers persist with you, it's like you, even you, Scorpio, get overwhelmed because someone's delivering this truth to you. Someone's delivering it passionately, no less passionately about this. Others of you, you literally have a mother who had like a vision or some kind of knowledge about this king for you and told you about it. You know, it's like, it's a lot of different stories here, guys. So I, I don't want to confuse anybody. So just hold on to that. Okay. Some there's a third party that's hurtful. You're overwhelmed. What do I do? There's so much passion here, right? I want to jump their bones. They want to jump me. Um, others of you, a mother's telling you information about somebody in your life. Um, another one of you, another group of you, this king is telling you that they see you as their soulmate, as their perfect spouse, and they're telling you this very passionately, okay? But this three of swords is really sticking out to me very strongly. Um, and I don't normally do this, but I'm feeling compelled to do this because this is an overall energy for the ace of swords. This is the truth, right? Let's clarify the overall energy of the three of swords because this is like, it's intense. Tell me about the Three of Swords from a Scorpios regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. There's so much passion here. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. And there's a lot of excitement behind this truth, too. And like I said, it's disruptive, but it's heaven sent. So it's important and it's it's important that you know and it's good information, regardless of how it makes you feel. You have to know about this. Tell me about the three of swords. For Scorpios. For some, this is probably gonna free you to uh, um embrace your other options if they're taken with someone already. It's going to free you to be with other people. Um, which is very liberating, right? Um, tell me about the Three of Swords. Others, it's going to free you to really embrace this person. And Scorpios, I'm surprised. Some of you, that overwhelms you a little bit. I think maybe because you never thought it could happen. Because you never thought it could happen. Tell me about Three of Swords for Scorpios regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Wow. Two threes, really? Three of wands in reverse. Waiting too long. What did I say? Waiting too long. Waiting too long. Wow. This person, this is someone that you have a deep connection with. They know they waited too long for you. But I don't think you're over them, Scorpios, but they might think that you are. They might think that you're over them, but I don't think you are. Tell me about the Three of Swords. <laughs> World in reverse, fixed energy, which is Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo with the Nine of Pentacles, my pre-Empress card. Empress, what did I say? What did I say? Okay, so for those who have been with me for a while, this is my pre-Empress card. This is the Empress when she's still single and not preggers or anything, very independent, just waiting for that last pentacle, right? The Empress is obviously preggers, committed, all that stuff. These are two different decks and they look like the same person. The Empress is committed. Someone's going to make you an Empress from the Nine of Pentacles just by putting a ring on it or just, you know, putting a label on it, okay? They know they waited too long. They know they waited too long. And so they want to stop. They want to stop that. They want to put the waiting to an end. But Scorpio, like I said, you got options. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Scorps, I'm going to tell you right now, some of y'all are really not going to know what to do. You're not. You're not. Tell me about Three of Swords, but you just got to take it one day at a time. One day at a time and always talk to your guides, guys. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Scorpio regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Okay. Overall energy. Oh, look. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, them, them. They waited too long. Wow. And they know it. They fucking know it. Scorpios, this person might come in after you've already embraced an option. This is crazy. This is a lot of energies up in this, a lot. But there's a permanent ending to this prolonged waiting of like, okay, it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Oh, shit. All of this is happening. This king is very significant to you, Scorpio very significant to you and I think they've been wanting you for a while I do get a sense of games though I do get a sense of mind games a little bit and I think that might be why they wait how they ended up waiting too long can't play mind games with a Scorpio that's not gonna work 
<laughs> it's not gonna work. You're not gonna get a Scorpio by playing mind games. Sorry, it's not gonna work. Um, but like I said, they're gonna come in. They're gonna tell you, you're 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 my wifey. You're my hubby, and I know it, and that's the truth. And I just want to jump your bones, Scorpio. It'll overwhelm you. You're gonna find out maybe that they have another person, or they're gonna find out that you have another person, and that's gonna cause some pain here. But you both still have that passion for each other, and then I'm still getting this other group where there's a mother a mother figure involved here who's delivering some truth excitedly some truth excitedly about this king okay so that that tells me that either your families know each other or there's like some there's some family intermingling like business maybe there's your families might know each other or like you might have family friends or something of that nature it's a mother figure okay so they could be a mother but not necessarily your mother you know you know what i mean so let's look at this king a little further. Okay, let's look at this Virgo energy, this Hermit in reverse coming out very disappointed like. Let's look at the Nine of Cups in reverse and see this disappointment. Tell me about the Nine of Cups in reverse. Oh, okay. They want me to use the Vice Versa deck. <clears throat> Tell me about the Nine of Cups in reverse. For Scorpio, regarding love, March 25th to the 31st time of the nine of cups in reverse for scorpio regarding love march 25th to the 31st <laughs> oh my god ew <laughs> they just gave me a really weird visual oh oh it actually like kind of gave me the goosebumps i didn't really like it um you know how um octopus like octopi they have like eight you know they got eight legs i just saw like eight tentacles like crawling all over you <laughs> Oh, oh, Scorpio, I like, are you, are you in heat or something? And it's just setting up everyone off. Like, like, are you around? Like, are you shoot? Are you a female like shooting off all this estrogen? And it's like, you know, affecting all the men around you. What is going on? Tell me about the nine of cups in reverse for Scorpio. Whoever this king is, they, 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 they want to put a ring on it. They might not say that right now for some of you. They might just be like, look, like, let's get serious. Or, hey, you know, maybe we should try. Um, but deep down, they want it. They already know they want to put a ring on it. They already know. They already know. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse for Scorpio regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Mm, Six of Wands, Jupiter Leo energy. Failure, getting, oh, wow. Scorpio, I think this person comes in because you actually take one of your options because I just felt immense hurt and it hit me in my gut. Like that, like that drop in your stomach when you just know, right? When you just know something's happened or when you just like know like whatever you just did, it was like the end all be all kind of energy where it's like, oh. <laughs> like that really just happened um it might have been because you've accepted another option before this person came in that's gonna be for some of you tell me about nine of cups in reverse tell me about nine of cups in reverse for scorpio regarding love march 25th to the 31st Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. I I literally am hearing someone's inner dialogue. Did I miss my chance? Did I miss my chance? I don't know what I can do. Maybe I can recover this. Maybe I can recover this. Someone's literally telling themselves that. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles out here. Tell me about Nine of Cups in reverse. For Scorpio. Regarding love. March 25th to the 31st. But if the if you're if this king has someone else, it's like that's also why they waited too long. It's like I think they they tried to do the whole have my cake and eat it too for a little bit, and maybe they realized it wasn't working. But maybe they th I think they thought you'd always be there, Scorps, and then you weren't. Then you weren't. All right. So overall energy, these aces are killing me. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. You have Empress and the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups now. If you don't want kids, please take the proper precautions, okay? So again, they feel like they waited too long to come in with an offer of love. 
with an offer of love. And the clarifying energies, we have the Six of Wands in equivalent to the reversal. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth and Fire. And then we have another Ace of Swords. We have three Ace of Swords here. Ace of Swords all over the place. This is some major, major truth. Major, major truth, okay? So they definitely feel like they waited too long. They feel like a failure, right? I'm also getting lack of recognition, like attention. Oh, that was their first clue that something was up. Um, I think you started giving them less of your energy, less of your energy and less of your attention, less communication, just less of your energy in any way, shape or form. That was their first uh, tip off that something wasn't right and then they had to come in. So the Knight of Pentacles, this is a night that's like trying really hard to seek, to seek out, a, to seek out uh, resources, to seek out abundance off into the night, but also very tired and very slow. Um, it's like I'm getting methodical, methodical. Um, I think this person's going to try to tell you that like they, they took so long because they were trying to get things sorted. They were trying to get things ready for you and they have to come in now and to, to tell you the truth, whether they're ready or not. But honestly, guys, I feel like they were kind of putzing. I gotta be honest. I feel like they were kind of putzing around. They might tell you that like, oh no, I was doing this, that, and the other to try to get ready for you, to try to get ready for you, Scorp. I was, I swear. Oh. <laughs> I was, I swear. I was doing this. I was doing that. I think they, they were putzing a little. I think they were just kind of biding their time because they thought you'd always be there. There's some fear there too. A little insecurity. There's something about your... Well, you're a Scorpio. You're a little intense. There's something about your energy though that they do find a little um, intimidating. And I think this, the connection intimidated them. The connection intimidated them. But Scorpios, I'm telling you, you have so many freaking options around you. I'm still feeling it. I'm still feeling it. And maybe it's because you're vibing high as the Empress that could definitely be it. That could definitely be it. And that, that Sag Gemini connection still ringing in the back of my head a little bit. But I do think they, they were putzing around a little bit, despite what they tell you. Despite what they tell you. It's like they were kind of afraid. You're, you're an empress. And they're a king. Kings are great. They're great. No knocking a king, especially King of Pentacles. Definitely not knocking the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles likes to provide and usually brings the Ten of Pentacles at some point in time. Um, really awesome king to have. The King of Pentacles is in it for the long haul, the long haul, you know? Um, but yeah, there's, there is some fear there. They're a little intimidated by you. It's almost like they thought they weren't quite good enough. And for those who, who had, they had, um, uh, have or had a, uh, you know, um, a boyfriend, girlfriend, a fiance, a wife or a husband. Um, I do get a little sense of like, living together so some of them were married or are still married you know that was the thing that they were wrapping up but they weren't really trying to wrap it up you know what I mean it's like they really weren't they really weren't doing what they should have been doing to get that let's end on the four of wands oh boy are you ready because I'm ready I'm so ready I'm so ready to see what comes out on this you're ending up in a commitment Scorpio just uh, just depends on with who <laughs> of your many, many options. Tell me about four of wands. Because you are that rabbit and you're getting chased down by the dogs. <laughs> and be careful. Some of you are dealing with some dogs. Dogs are bitches. You are. You are. Tell me about four of wands. Not all of them, but you know, just be mindful. Be Again, I, they keep telling me to tell you guys, please play this smart. Be smart about this. Be smart with your options and with this king. Be smart. And every situation is going to be a little different. Okay? So just use your intuition. Talk to your guides. Make the smart choices. Tell me about four of wands, especially if you don't want to be pregnant. Tell me about four of wands. Tell okay. Hmm. Five of pentacles. That does not bode well. That's about feeling alone. And I, it's funny because it's like there's so much snow in this card. I literally felt a chill <laughs> go down my back. Tell me about four of wands for Scorpio regarding love. March 25th, another five, five of cups, two fives. Guys, there's a tower. There's a tower coming. I feel it. Wow, four of cups. This is like... This is major depression and rejection. Major, major. Look at this. Look at this freaking energy. 
you can just see it in the colors. This Four of Cups is about rejection. This Five of Cups is about depression and uh, grieving too long. And this Five of Pentacles is about isolation and being alone. This is major depression here and rejection. I'm also getting fear. This person's terrified that you're going to reject them. Terrified. Tell me about Four of Wands. Because they know. Sorry, my guys just told me because they know. What do they know? They're terrified because they know you're it. They know you're it for them. Like, they know if they get in a relationship with you, you're it. There's no more dating. There's no more nothing. There's just you and them for their the rest of your lives. Wow, that's heavy. That's heavy. Tell me about Four of Wands for Scorpio. Now we have Judgment. Fire energy, Scorpionic energy. Karmic. Very karmic. Yeah, don't fuck up your karma, guys. <laughs> Tell me about Four of Wands. This is going to be a long reading. I'm sorry, guys. God, the readings are intense today. Aquas was intense. Yours are intense. I'm sure Pisces is going to be intense. Tell me about Four of Wands for Scorpio. Regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Tell me about Four of Wands for Scorpio. Regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Okay. Overall energy. Page of Pentacles. This is this is a very interesting card to come out. Because I'm almost getting a sense of turning your back. Scorpio, turning your back. And I hate to say that, but then look what's underneath here. We got the Knight of Wands. Sag energy. Sag energy, also Aries and Leo. This page of Pentacles, this is a risk taker. This is someone who's seeking out abundance and stability on their own in an atypical way. This Knight of Wands is very like risk taker, like Knight of Wands on steroids, okay? I mean like high risk behavior, very, very in and out, just always on the run, always on the go. I get the feeling like someone's running from commitment running from commitment like running from commitment oh my god another sag energy temperance here someone's running scorpio i gotta be honest i feel like it might be you you might run from this because you're so overwhelmed and because you have so many options you're running wow i'm surprised scorpio you're running you're running from this and look at this depression and rejection this is intense shit with judgment then this is equivalent to judgment in reverse, like bad karma, bad karma, um, uneasiness with depression and rejection and isolation. Scorpio, I feel like you're leaving someone in this state. You're going to reject someone and I, it, it's going to, I think it's going to be this King of Pentacles. Let's look at the Four of Cups further because I, I need, I need to know. <laughs> And I'm sure you guys need to know, too. I'm going to use the Legacy deck to clarify. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles for Scorpio. March 25th to the 31st. Tell me about this rejection. Who's getting rejected? Tell me about this Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Scorpio. Tell me about this Four of Cups for Scorpio. Regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Tell me about this Four of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely some heaven-sent, hard, pertinent truth here. Wow. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Scorpio. Regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Tell me about this Four of Cups. Who's getting rejected? Who's getting rejected? It could also... I'm also getting that for some of you, this 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 was the king's energy and they ran from you. They ran from you and it gave it definitely sent their karma plummeting. Um, but that's only for some. That's only for some. But Scorpio, I do feel like you're rejecting this person. Tell me about this four of cups. Tell me about this four of cups. But yeah, uh, yeah, this king might have ran away from a lot of you, actually, now that I'm really in it. Now that I'm really in it. <laughs> what did I say? The tower. There's going to be a tower. Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about this rejection. Who's getting rejected? Page of Cups in reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles. 
I'm sorry, guys. Whoa, this is tripping me out. I had a vision about this reading months ago, months ago. Sorry, it just it just came back to me. Um, sorry, just trip me out for a second. Queen of Pentacles with the Page of Cups in reverse, Capricorn energy. So if this person, if this King of Pentacles has a queen already and they're in a third party, they're the ones getting rejected. Wow, okay. They're the ones getting rejected. They're the ones getting rejected. Tell me about the um, Four of Cups. But if they don't, Scorpio... I think you're leaving this person in the, in the dust. If they don't have a third party, you're leaving this person in the dust. I know how that sounds because I'm sure less people are like, well, if they already have someone, I'm not going to stick around for that person. No, it's like they're they're leaving the queen of pentacles for you if there's a third party situation here. But Scorpio, if it's just you and this person, I think I don't think you're going to stick stick around. Tell me about the four of cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups for Scorpio regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Tell me about this Four of Cups for Scorpio regarding love, March 25th to the 31st. Okay, overall energy, Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, release. Yeah, for, for those in the third party, their, their king is going to leave the queen. The king's going to leave the queen for you, the empress. And it's going to leave this person in a state of major depression. Oh, that's pretty horrible. But it's going to be a major tower moment. Look at that. It's going to be a major tower moment, okay? And with that page of cups in reverse, I'm almost... Ooh, ooh, I just heard yelling. <laughs> oh, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. Oh, Scorpios. This is a tough read. This is really tough. I mean, this is a lot of intense energy. You and this person have an intense sexual connection. You got all these options circling you around you, got their paws all over you. Some of you take those options before this king comes in, prompting this king to come in. And for those ki and for those who have a king who have a queen, they end up leaving this queen for you because they waited too long to wrap this shit up for you. And for those where you're dealing with a king and it's like you have all these options, they waited too long. They waited too long. They waited too long and you're going to walk away and they're going to be in a state of major depression because they're the ones who are carrying the bad karma. Let me get this straight about the karma here. Scorpio, you don't have the bad karma here. It's this king. The king is carrying this bad karma, okay? Regardless if it's a third party or not, regardless if they already have this queen or if they see you as the queen, they're the ones carrying this bad karma, because they waited too long. Regardless, they waited too long. Some, it's a third party situation, more bad karma. That's on them. That's on them. Because if they're in the third party, they're leaving this queen. Someone they committed to. More bad karma on them. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. No. Mm -mm. This, is, this is heavy shit. Scorpios, just try to get through this relatively unscathed. Because if you're in a third party situation like this, just try to... <laughs> Try to stay out of it as much as possible energetically. I know that's hard to do. I know that's hard to do. And while you have these options, like I said, have fun. But just be smart because there's definitely pregnancy on the board. So like strong. So, so just, just be very mindful of that, okay? But they know they made you wait too long. They know. They know. And they're going to say they were doing this, that, or the other. And they honestly, they weren't. They were just, they thought they could have their cake and eat it too. They were putzing around. Okay. They really thought that. They thought you'd be around forever. And then you weren't. And they were like, shit. <laughs> so that being said, let's pull from the Romance Angel deck. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Either way, Scorpio, you're not the one getting rejected here, okay? You're either going to walk away from this king because you've accepted an option or the king is going to reject their queen to be with you. All right, it's going to be different for everybody. It's going to be different for everybody. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding this spread? I think I'm going to have to stitch this video. We're at 44 minutes. <laughs> Any messages from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Any messages from my Scorpios regarding this spread? Let's see what we got here. Wow. Passion and separation came out together. What do we have over here? Oh, Lordy. 
Oh, Lordy. Let go of control issues. This could be the one. You deserve love. More that. This is also my Sag card. Always reminds me of Sagittarius. New love and healing family issues. My gosh. Okay, let's see what else we get. That's a lot of cards. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding this spread? And then we're definitely going to pull some advice. Definitely pull some advice. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Oh, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Sorry, I need water. I'm sure you guys are parched too. Okay. This is always indicative to me that the divine is up in this and it's very karmic. So I'm not surprised, right? We also saw temperance out there, which usually is like a little divine intervention, but worth waiting for. There's divine timing. This is a divine situation. There's a lot of spirituality here. It also told me that this is all happening the way it's supposed to. As crazy and chaotic as it is going to be, Scorpio, because I don't think a lot of you have even hit this yet. Okay. It all happened the way, or it's going to happen the way it's supposed to. And underneath that, look, we got reconciliation. You know this king. You have a history with this king. And like I said, some of uh, some of you are in that group where they're going to leave a queen for you to be with you. Because they know. They know that you're it. Like, you are the end game. You're it. And if you walk away, they don't get to have that. That's kind of heavy. That's heavy. That's heavy to live with. Um, but this passion and separation, guys, when you've been separated from this king, that passion never died, remained there, continue, will continue to be there too, is what they're telling me. It's very sexual, very sexual, but there's love here too. Do not get me wrong. There's love here. My God, there's love here. But this never, what is this future thing that they're telling me about? I got to focus guys. I'm sorry. Give me a second. There's something about the sexual chemistry between the two of you that it's like ever evolving is what I'm getting. Ever evolving. It's never, it's never going to be boring. <laughs> it's never going to be the same day to day. Your, um, your, your sexual experiences with this person. It's almost like it gets better with time as opposed to, you know, mundane. But yeah, while you've been separated, the passion, is, it's almost like since you've been separated, the passion's even gotten more like amplified, even since you've been separated, which is really interesting. Um, so moving on to these, we have let go of control issues. <laughs> I know, Scorps, it's your favorite card. Let go of control issues. This could be the one. You deserve love, new love, and healing family issues. I feel like this is for them. I feel like this is for the king, actually. So Scorpios, this could definitely be vice versa for you. But again, remember what I said. It's like, it seems like they just thought you'd always be there. It seems like they thought you'd always be there. That was their control issues. That's why they didn't really wrap things up or take care of the things that they're going to tell you that they were taken care of because they thought that they could always have you. That was them trying to control the situation. And then you did your thing. And then they're like, bring my Scorpio. Where my Scorpio? Because they know. They know that you're the end game. They know it. It's just, like I said, oh, and I said that too. They feel like they're not quite good enough for you. They need to work on their self-love. And I think that they realize that too. And that leads to this new opportunity with you. But this healing, man. This healing for self-love is coming full circle. This healing needs to take place for them so that they can have, sorry, I don't know why I got out of focus, so that they can have self-love, so that they can recognize that they do deserve to be with an empress once they work on themselves, make themselves an emperor. You know what I mean? They're already a king, which is pretty amazing, but they just need to level up a little bit more, okay? And for those who are dealing with a king who has a queen already, who has a family, let them fix that shit. Let them fix that shit. It is not yours to fix. It's theirs. It's their mess. Let them clean it up. And I'm not saying the family's a mess, but you know what I mean? The situation, it's their, it's their doing. They, they, they knew. They were aware. Okay, let's get some advice from my Scorpios. Any advice for Scorpios regarding this spread? What a shit show, man. Oh my God, what a shit show. 
And it's like this energy is so intense, like your options couldn't even break through. You know what I mean, Scorpio? It's like that's how intense of a connection you have with this person. I know you have options. I saw it. I saw it and I felt it and I'm still feeling it. Um, and like I said, some of you might walk away because you've accepted an option before this king could come in. Some of you, that's some of you. So be mindful of that. If you really want this king, if you don't, you don't. But if you really want this king, just know that. Um, and they might sense that the options are all over you too. Because you're very connected. You're very connected. And if they're sensing that, that might prompt them to come in. Okay? But that energy is so strong between the two of you, it overpowers the options. You know what I mean? Any advice from us Scorpios? Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Any advice? I'm just getting retreats. <laughs> Wombat spirit, be at home with the number 68, okay? Uh, what is that? That breaks down to a five. That's about change. Scorpios, like I said, you're going to be so overwhelmed. It might send you running. You might be like, I'm just going to stay home. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to stay home and, and not like, not engage. Not engage. I'm just not going to engage. <laughs> It might be that overwhelming for you, but this is more about, you know, being at home in your own skin, create, creating your, your stability <clears throat> and confidence in whatever environment you're in. Okay. So that's what spirits advice is. Try to get yourself comfortable and, and homey while all of this is going on, because you're going to need that grounding. You're going to need that grounding to get through this, especially depending on how many options you have. Some of you have a lot. Some of you might only have one or two. But honestly, honest to God, I'm sensing some of you got like four, four up to like God only knows. I'm not, I'm not your mama. I don't know your life like that. You do you. You do you. No, no judgment here. Um, but that's what Spirit's saying. Try to get comfortable with the situation. Try to get that grounding in, okay? Because that's going to help you a lot. To, to see your way out of this because this ace of swords is really powerful in your in your reading um it's gonna stun you it's gonna stun you a little bit any advice from us scorpios any advice from us scorpios regarding this spread any advice from us scorpios oh shit mm -hmm. i love it work with spirit guys work with spirit Number 17, bringing down to an eight, your eighth house, right? But remember, you manifested this, Scorpio. You had no idea what you were manifesting uh, to this degree, but you manifested this. You manifested it. Co-create with spirit. And that's what spirit's advice is also. Keep working with spirit to try to get your grounding, okay? And to get yourself through this. It's Grounding is coming in so strongly. You got to stay centered during all of this. It's It's kind of a tornado. It's like... It's like a tornado of sex, love, and and serious drama, <laughs> okay? Any advice from us Scorpios? March 25th to the 31st regarding this spread. Any advice from us Scorpios? We've got another card out here. Any advice from us Scorpios regarding this spread? Oh, shit, really? Okay, that's a lot. I guess you guys need a lot of advice. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. You're you're going to have to be grounded. Please be grounded, Scorpios. Please be grounded. You're going to understand why I want to go over the overall advice. Now we have, not surprised, Armadillo Spirit set healthy boundaries. Set those boundaries. Like I said, tentacles all over you. I saw it. I saw it. People's energy is intruding into your energy field. Set up those boundaries. Get your grounding and set healthy boundaries with all of your options, okay? No matter how many you have, set those boundaries so that you can ground yourself. And once you're grounded, then you can start dealing with what you, you know, what you want out of all these options and this king. This king is standing out amongst the options, though. I got to be honest with you. Whoever this king is, they are standing out amongst the options. But some of you are going to take the options over this king. But set those boundaries first, especially with your energy. I can feel it. It's intruding in on your energy, okay? Especially with the king because your connection is so strong. All right, so let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, I love it. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 
The number 67, breaking down to a four, foundations. Foundations, okay? I think this is actually the last card in the deck. If I'm not, oh, no, wait. We had a 68, didn't we? There, I, I feel like it ends in the 60s, so 68 might be the last one. But anyway, so Wolf Spirit. This is about you following your instincts. Use that intuition, guys. Use that scorpionic intuition to go about this and ground, like I said, ground yourself first, set those boundaries and work with spirit intuitively, work with spirit intuitively here, okay, um, to go about this the right way. Don't just like willy nilly do shit, but really think about what you're doing, tap into your intuition and try to see ahead, try to see ahead. Then we have, yeah, brown bear spirit, take the time out. Number nine, completions. Right, we had the world in reverse here, so I'm not surprised that this is out. Take that pause to do all of this work. It's yeah. Take this pause, Scorpio, to put in the work, to ground yourself, and to set the boundaries, and to tap into in your intuition. You got to really isolate yourself for a little bit. You are gonna isolate yourself. I can feel it because you're gonna be a little overwhelmed, and you're gonna realize, oh shit, this is too much for me. I need I need to figure this out. Take that pause. It's okay. I love these energies. Oh, man. And let's see where we're ending. Let's see where we're ending here. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. If that'll focus, it won't. Hold on. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Starfish, open to infinite possibilities. Options. <laughs> I know you guys got options. Cow spirit, the miracles are endless. This is about reaping the rewards of your manifestations. And you will, Scorpio. My God, you will. You will you will enjoy those benefits that you've manifested for yourself. Like I said, you got a lot of options though, but you're gonna, this is about taking on that confidence to, to handle this, okay? Doing what you gotta do to handle these options and to make sure that you enjoy your manifestations. This believe in yourself energy is harnessing all the advice I already gave you. You're gonna have to be confident enough to remove yourself a little bit, to ground yourself, protect yourself energetically, and use your intuition to approach these options and this king, and you will be very happy. Regardless of what happens, Scorpio, you're going to be happy. Just try to steer clear of this drama with the queen if you are dealing with a third-party situation, because not all of you are. Some of you, like I said, are going to walk away. But it's up to you. It's your choice. At this point in the game, it's your choice. You ready for the overall advice? Fox, think on your feet. This is about having enough wisdom and confidence, cunning, foresight to make those quick decisions. You got to do this work first. Do it now. Just do it now. <laughs> if this hasn't hit you yet, take this weekend to ground yourself, protect yourself energetically, find your balance, find your zen. And then when the shit hits the fan, all of your options come in and this king comes in, you might have to make some quick decisions, but don't make them out of impulsivity. Don't make them out of this energy because you're overwhelmed. Make it out of a very strong empress stance. Make it out of this energy, this energy, not this impulsive, overwhelmed, fear-ridden, anxiety energy. Do it from an empress standpoint, okay? Okay. You got to reach that status before this comes in because otherwise it, it's going to it's going to mess with your head. It's going to really overwhelm you. And not, I'm not gonna, you're not going to lose like you're not going to lose your um, manifestations. You're not. You're not. You're not. It's just going to make it a hell of a lot harder than it has to be. OK, but this is basically saying that this is coming in quick and everything's going to happen really fast, really, really fast. OK, so just brace yourself, ground yourself, do the work. Do the work, ground, protect, use your intuition, and you're going to be fine with your options in this king. Best of luck, Scorpios. <laughs> Best of luck to my Scorps who, who this resonates with, okay? Oh, my God. Um, really, guys, this is, this is intense. This is serious. Like, really, good luck, okay? <laughs> don't forget to check out Patreon on the Facebook page, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Namaste.